Taser, taser, taser. Put your hands in the air. Oh! Get it behind your back. Get it behind your back and get zapped again. Wow, that hurt. That hurt. God damn. You trying to kill yourself? Yes. Have you tried that before? Very much. God damn, that hurt. He, uh, he had a razor blade in his hand when we got here and he didn't want to put it, he didn't want to drop it. ordered him to drop it several times. He finally did drop it, but once he started rummaging through his bag again, we just, we couldn't take any chances, so uh, they deployed the taser and it was very effective. Immediately gave up after that and that was it. In progress, we got a white male about 30 years old concealing a bunch of items heading out the west side. Copy that, we're here. Radio fingers, description again, please. 10 concealment. Description again, black shirt, bald head. <laughs> When you charge me, guess what? I That's what happened. Was... I know you didn't. It's the element of surprise. Um, upon searching him, we found a pair of shorts stuffed in the front of his pants and then two fragrances that he put inside of his socks. Derek, is this for real? Oh, this is my mother. Is that your mom? I mean, Derek. Turn and face me. We'll talk. Did you come here with your mom? Yeah. Okay. And the guy said, I think they caught somebody, and I'm like... Well, I know it can't be him. I mean, he's not going to be that stupid. I mean, if he wanted something that bad... Yeah, he tried I mean, to run out, and that's, him. you know, he tried I mean, to run he out. He a check every month. If he needs it that bad, I mean, you know, buy it. We're responding to a suicidal threats. Mel Collar said he wanted to kill himself, and he will kill any law enforcement that shows up on his doorstep. Get down. Get out! Shoot me, please! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! It means nothing to me, dude. That wouldn't have stopped me. It actually did. I was it did. You dropped like a sack of rocks. I know. a voice. You okay? I wanted that. Look at my it. face, dude. I've tried to help, but I did all I wanted was my family to have a good time with me. We're downtown. We're gonna do a area check. It's the weekend. People are going out like to have a good time, but drink too much. So make sure nobody's fighting or anything. Uh, looks like we got a fight right here. Get back! Get back! Get said was like we need to go home we need to go home like all i did is like walk on the sidewalk and say we need to go home our sergeant is trying to stop a motorcycle and he says that it's running away from him so we're going to try to get caught up to it here real quick and see if we can help him out if it stops northbound on weaver all right, don't do anything stupid. Stand up. Walk over here. Controlled substance medication of some sort. We'll have to figure out what that is. It's not your wallet, even though I took it out of your back pocket? You're borrowing it. Yeah. Uh, it's like a debit card or credit card of a female and an ID belonging to the same female. Obviously not this subject. It's not mine. Well, it's obvious that's not yours. You're not a female. Best I can tell. That was clearly a female on that ID. Why were you running? Was it just because you were large or the needles? I mean, you look a little strung out to me, but... Yeah, I've, been up, I've been awake eight days walking a lot, man. That's a uh, parolee who's been in and out of prison forever. Oh, he's a career criminal. He told me that uh, GTA is what he does. He was bragging about his pocket full of shaved keys and that uh, Grand Theft Auto. I don't mind sweating. It's part of the job, so it's all good. CS34 traffic. Don't 
I'm gonna try it, man. I'm gonna try it. Put your hand behind right. your back. Taste him, taste him. Taste him, sir. I'm gonna taste Give me your hands. Give me your hands. Give me your hands. Give me your hands. It was like some cocaine, some crack. He's got a scale and a cell phone that was in the vehicle with him. So he's got a good felony amount. So we got this vehicle here. Please don't come back to it. So we're going to check him out, see what's going on. Show me your hands. Do it now. Show me your hands. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Got one running northbound. I'm going Stop, I'm going to tase you. Stop, I'm going to tase you. Stop, I'm going to tase you. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. I do. Oh, you ran for the police. I ran from you? Why are you running from us? I don't know. You guys spooked me, man. Uh, What's he running for? So he's got some child support warrants. That's all I got. You. And we spooked him. You done acting foolish? Couple of people in it. See what they're up to, because this is a normal place to be. What's going on? Because I know whatever she's telling me is not true. Well, buckle up your pants for me, there. Huh? Buckle your pants up for me, since they're no buckle them. Okay. Fasten them. They're falling off. I don't want your pants falling off right here. Okay. Uh, she wanted me to have a say with her, but I said no. I don't. I don't want it. That's <laughs> what. You didn't crazy. seem much like you didn't want to. Your pants were undone. I, but to me, that's a pretty good indication that you do want to. Yeah, yeah but uh, I told her that I don't want it. Then she she calls me. She, you know, I, I see my girlfriend, so... She's your girlfriend? Yeah. Okay, she's your girlfriend, but you don't know her first name? I already called another officer who's dealt with you for this before. But yeah, but, I, but I've never been convicted of this. All right, well, you're going to go for it today. For what? For a prostitution. Say hi. Yeah. He's got a uh, Ford paper plate on a Hyundai Elantra. Yeah. Okay. What's going on? Hey, Mark. No, I don't. Everybody got some uh, narcotics down here. I said, hey, just break your face. Hey, fight. Get the f off. The stage room. Relax. Go both. Do not move. Go so, black, black car. Yeah, yeah black car. Definitely heroin. Yeah. Car stolen, confirmed stolen. Yeah. Multiple IDs here as well. Mm -hmm. Wait, Hawaiian Kingdom. Hmm. Hey, man. Hang, hang tight. Not a big deal. Just when you're walking, you need to be on the sidewalk, just not in the streets. You got ID? Uh, no. You got anything on you I need to be worried about? No. Weapons, drugs, anything like that? All right. You mind? Should you go ahead and take your hands out? Go and put it back Would you stuff down your pants? No. You didn't stuff nothing down your pants right now? <laughs> I, I didn't even have that. Well, that's kind of funny. It landed right where you were. I, I don't. I didn't have nothing. Where's this other shoe at? Got that idea. You got what looks like Spider-Man getting in an argument with a female up here in one of the restaurants. I would do that in a second. No? She don't want me. This is what we're gonna, this is what we're gonna call disorderly conduct. You understand so that? that lady talking junk to me, cracking on my suit. The woman whom he believes was a prostitute, she was making fun of him because he was dressed like Spider-Man. If you're gonna dress like Spider-Man, you need to be prepared to get made fun of on the strip. That right there, that's not real. That's synthetic. Don't care what it is. Hear the right to remain silent. Anything you say can't be used against you in the court of law. That ain't my pouch. That's somebody else's pouch that was staying in my room, and it was I put it in my bag. All right, come with me, please. I, I, I do kids' birthday parties. I make kids happy. I feel like a, a true entertainer. I feel like Elvis. Hey, I'm going to ask you a question. Any story you've ever read about Spider-Man, you ever see him argue with a prostitute at McDonald's? 
with Spider-Man, you never know. If he's got felonies for aggravated assault, he's got prior weapons charges, but it's all under another name, and I don't think he realizes that we know who he is. That was meth? So it was. It was, it was positive. That's positive. And you're going to be charged with the drugs that you have in your but possession? Listen, that's not my drugs, man. Tonight isn't Spider-Man's night. You messed up, okay? You just never really know what you're going to get, especially in Vegas.